In today's video, I'm going to show you how to filter your data in three different ways here in Google Sheets. So filtering allows you to view only the data that meets specific criteria, making it easier to analyze and focus on relevant information without the distractions. It also helps in managing large data sets by hiding irrelevant rows temporarily, which makes the data more manageable and easier to work with. And in that note, I will be showing you three ways on how to do it. So in my example data set right here, I'm going to be filtering them in three different ways. The first way would be to simply create a filter. So what I'm going to do is to select my data right here. I just press Ctrl A on my keyboard and I've already selected my entire data set. Then I'm going to proceed to data in the menu bar and select create a filter. And there you have it. I've inserted a filter on each of my columns right here. So let's say I want to filter my data and I want it to just show me all the comedy movies right here. So I'm going to go to genre and select that filter icon on the right. If I click on it, here are my filter options. With the creative filter, we can also sort our data. And just under that are filter options where we can filter by color, condition, and values. I'm going to proceed with filter by values and clear all the selected data. Then I'm just going to select the one that I want to see, click on OK, and there we have it. Now if I want to filter it again with another column, I can do so by just clicking again on that filter icon right next to the header. If I want to filter it by budget, let's say I want to filter this by condition and I just wanted to show all the movies that have had a budget of over 50 million. So let's go ahead to greater than and enter the value of 50 million. Click on OK and there we have it. So that's the first way on filtering your data. Let's try the next one. So the next way to filter your data would be to add a slicer. Select your data, Control A on your keyboard, or command A. Again, go back to data on the menu bar and select add a slicer. If you click on that, here's our slicer, which is a more interactive way on filtering your data. So with this tool right here, we can actually move it, resize it and customize it the way we want it to be. Then on the right side, we have our data range and our column. So now we're just going to select the column that we want to apply our filter to. So this time I'm going to select the movie title column. There we have it. And here in our slicer, we're just going to select how we're going to filter our column. So go to the drop down and select filter by condition again. This time I want to filter my column and I wanted to show all the movies that start with the letter D. So let's select our condition right here. Go to text starts with, then put in your letter. Click on OK, and there we have it. Now it's showing us all the movies with the titles that start with the letter D. And our final way of filtering our data would be with the filter function. Now the filter function allows for dynamic filtering within the formula bar, offering more flexibility and precision. So let's go ahead and do that. Type in your equal sign, then type in filter. Select it right there. And here is our syntax or our formula. The first thing that we're going to do is to select our range. Now this time, I'm not going to be adding our headers anymore. I'm going straight to the data without the headers. Once you've selected, type in comma, then your conditions. So we can put in as many conditions as we want. I want to filter this by condition of our budget and our box revenue. So for a budget, I'm going to select this column right here. And I just wanted to show the movies that have had a budget of over 100 million. So that's greater than 100 million. Comma, so that was our first condition. Now we can proceed to our next condition. So again, you can add as many conditions as you want. Next condition would be if our box revenue right here has had a revenue of over $200 million. So again, that's the greater than and the value of $200 million. 
close it off and press enter. And there you have it. Now it's filtered our data, only showing us the movies that have had a budget of over $100 million and a revenue of over $200 million. And there you have it. Those were three different ways on how to filter your data here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.